So everyone, this is not my first foray into showing you guys how to use sun rays, but I did use sun rays on a landscape photo. I'll leave the link to that video uh, below so you can see what it can do for landscape. And I think it is the biggest application of sun rays that you can possibly have. However, uh, Luminar can also take that sun rays and use it for other types of photo. And in the case of this photo with Morgan, I think it is a very good example. This is a side portrait of a great circus artist. Her name is Morgan. She's just a, a super nice person. You guys, I will do, I have video of the behind the scenes on this. It will be coming soon. So really today, I just wanted to show you guys quickly how sun rays can be used for other things uh, other than landscape. So in this case, I am looking at a photo I took of Morgan. She just basically leaned on the side of the wall as you can see from the photo shoot the natural light was just absolutely stunning in the spot you know what for the hell of it i'm just gonna go to the crop tool one minute and make this straight for christ's sakes there you go for some reason when i shoot i see crooked anyways doesn't matter okay so here we go we are going to take this uh item right here now in general, the photo is great. There's not a lot of retouching, maybe because she's so far, but the light on her hair is just fantastic. Now, the light source is most likely the sun behind her or on the other side here. And given the fact that the sun is behind this wall right here, I am going to play with that fact and bring some non-reality to reality. So I take the main uh, layer right here. I will just for the hell of it, create a new layer flatten that call it for luminar and I will take that press filter Skylum software at the bottom and go to luminar 4 this exports your photo into luminar 4 where you can use the full features of luminar 4 now I'm not gonna go too crazy with this photo too much so what I'm gonna do here is go straight into my artistic creative palette right here and over in here is the button called sun rays I'm going to click on that right away all you have to do is go place sun center you will have a dot now right away it's analyzed the photo and actually uh, told you what I told you before that most likely the Sun is coming from behind this wall now if I pull this out and place it where I want it to go I just increase the amount slider right here and as soon as it realizes that you go behind a wall, it will actually take into account that window pane and show you the light coming from behind that source. Hide the light and actually... So if I come over here, it'll do the same thing and it, it, it'll sort of try to analyze where the window pane is and what would be stopping the light. Now, in this case, I really think that it would be nice and dramatic to bring the sun light source from out of the window here, uh, and it might just add a little flare to my photo. And I think just putting it right in the window here up in the sky makes it really nice. Now, after you place sun center, you can unclick that to get rid of that little dot where you're placing. You can play with amount, how much sun you want coming in, the overall look, of this now I think it's really nice because they've actually made this so that the light behaves in a way that really flares the rest of your image look very carefully on the floor here and you'll see that it actually brightens up the whole floor but not too much it respects the cracks and makes sure that no light goes down those cracks so you can bring it in like this you can change the length of the sun rays so they come in more into the the um, room and you can make them really small obviously if you bring the sun rays longer it affects all the ambient light and does a great job of making everything look real you have penetration here how much you want it to go through stuff and how much you want it to actually what I'd like to say is dominate the photo. I think it's the best way to say it. Now, you also have advanced settings. In here, you have number of sun rays. You might want to bring down the number of sun rays. Keep it low. The more you bring in, I think the tackier it gets. Uh, sun radius, sun glow radius, sun glow amount, sun warmth. So depending, for example, sun warmth has a lot to do with temperature, basically Kelvin. So if you want to bring that in, you can bring uh, the warmth up or down. I personally like to keep it wherever uh, Luminar decides to uh, 
have it. You can change the warmth of the sun, and you can also change the warmth of the rays. If I bring that up, you can see that it brings it down to probably 3,400. And then if you bring it up, you go, go all the way into the 7,000 uh, level of Kelvin. But, you know, again, that I decide to normally pick what the software gives me. Once I've done that, I can take that and... Uh, uh, now, you, you've made a decision now, but remember, when you bring this back, if I apply and I bring this into Photoshop, it'll export back into Photoshop. Remember that within Photoshop, again, you can always bring down the transparency, the fill of what you have there. You can bring it down a bit or you can bring it back up. It's up to you. I personally like it. I find it looks great on this shot. The concept of her looking down and how she's sort of contemplating that sun really brings in a cool uh, fun about it. Remember that you can always mask as well. So you just place a mask on this. Uh, go to your paintbrush. Make sure it is black. And you can paint that, those sun rays out a tiny bit. You can blur it. You can do what you want with that um, layer. Um, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Remember, guys, if you like this software and you like what you see, you can always click the link in the description and go to my discount code. It'll give you $10 off in the United States, an additional $15 off in Canada. Uh, remember, guys, it's $15 in Canada just because our dollar isn't worth much. But there you go. So like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, keep on making something from nothing.